Hello, 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 everyone. I'm a little late. It's 6.09. Nice. Um, <laughs> but I I was trying to take a selfie before a stream to, to tweet it, and then I didn't even wind up doing that. I was just wasting time, fully. Um, and also, Charles. Charles never helps um, me be on time, that's for sure. <laughs> he helps with a lot of stuff, but being on time is not one of them. Um, but I'm ready for some Sims tonight. I'm hoping it's <laughs> calmer than it was yesterday. Um, there was too much going on in yesterday's stream for it only to have been a two-hour stream. That, uh, so much happened. <laughs> I feel like maybe too much even happened. Um, so we'll find out. Hopefully today is less eventful. Maybe Gavin will die. That'll be exciting. Um, there's... I was panicked that I didn't turn them on, and so I turned them off. <laughs> um, well, at least I'm, I'm professional today. I started with them on. Um, but there's only one way to find out if tonight's going to be calmer than yesterday, and that is to hop right into it. So... That's what we're going to do. Kelly is dead and gone. I'm only a little bit crying about it on the inside. Um, you know, we're in generation two. We got to have, we got to have Gavin and, not Gavin, Connor and Raul um, try for a baby soon. Oh, it, it definitely Put you like an hour forward when you come back in because I paused it at like two this morning and it's now saying it's five and Raul's late for work. Like, that's definitely not true. Raul, wake up and go to work. Immediately, I guess. I'm so sorry, my guy. Connor is hungry and has no fun. Gavin's gonna go grab some salad. Okay. Connor, you can come grab some salad once Gavin's done. Hey, Clay, how's it going? How's your afternoon so far? I keep forgetting it. It kind of is afternoon still for me. It feels like evening because um, I'm in my room with the window closed and the lights mostly off. <laughs> hey, Sasha, how's it going? How's your night so far? Your afternoon. It's afternoon for you, too. It's the only night for me. <laughs> oh, Gavin's so sad. They're both still sad for another full day. On a little break from work? Heck yeah. For sure afternoon where you are, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad it's no longer afternoon, because today it dragged on. It was really one of those days. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't like the worst day in the world, um, but it really did drag by. <laughs> Cleaning house, heck yeah. Only 412. Yeah, it's 6 for me. So I, once it hits 6, I feel like that's the evening. If it's not 6, it's 7, you know? <laughs> okay, bye, Cap. Bye, Charles. Um, okay, needs-wise. Who needs to what in the when? Um, 9 o'clock, you go to work. 2 p.m. you go to work. I keep forgetting that you are... You work so late now. <laughs> I guess that makes sense for being an astronaut. I don't I don't feel like they take off at like 8 a.m. into space. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a command center lead. I don't even know if I'm really going to space for my job yet. Um, let's unpause, though. They can have breakfast together. That'll be nice for them. What are you saying stinks? What stinks? Nothing. Here, um... Maybe... Talk about a treasured memory? Why are they both saying it stinks? Dishes in the shower, I appreciate that, Bunny Slayer. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely afternoon. Or evening. I think it's evening for you. <laughs> I'm having trouble today remembering everybody. Oh, 
that poor cat food. With no cat. <laughs> poor Felix! My house feels so empty. Oh, Raul's already back from work. Oh, shit. I forgot he works for so little time. He wants to chat with Lavina. You know, maybe we can invite over his mom. He wants to talk over relationship fears with Gavin. Not Gavin. <laughs> with Connor. I keep making that mistake, and it's a really bad mistake. <laughs> Try for baby in Animal Shed. Ooh. Ghost Felix grabbed some food yesterday. Did he really? I didn't even notice. Um, talk about relationship fears. That's going to go well right now, I think. <laughs> Not that I'm trying to break them up or anything. Um, I really do want the world for them. Hey, maybe also come take a shower, Gavin. Um, but this is what Raul wants to do. And Connor... You did flirt with the Grim Reaper. That is something we should talk about. <laughs> they're sitting down on the bed for it? Oh, they're breaking up. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? Who sits down on the bed for a talk like this? Oh! Put himself forward and open a line of communication, but the problems aren't over. Maybe another day of communicating his worries will finally help him overcome his fears. Okay, so that's good. We move forward. We're doing all right. <laughs> also, hello, Oblio. I don't ever. I never even said hello to you. How rude of me. I hope you're having a lovely evening. <laughs> oh, everyone's so sad right now. Raul, um, do you want to come take of your care of your? Cow. Gavin starts work in an hour. He's making coffee. You know what? That's fine. That's whatever. Connor, you should work out. Because you've got to for work. Work's over so good. That's, you know, fully cheers to that. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling today. Working 9 to 3 is actually pretty alright. I don't hate it. It's rough not streaming in the mornings, I will admit. I, I, I miss it. Um, but it also just kind of doesn't fit into my morning if I'm leaving at 8 or 8.30. Um, like, I could stream for an hour, but that just doesn't feel... Like, I'd rather just chill for an hour, honestly. <laughs> um, which bums me out, because I love streaming in the morning. But I 9 to 3 really does work. It's a really nice schedule. <laughs> <laughs> have get that hour of not having to help anybody in the mornings. Fantastic. Give me the whole day of that, please. <laughs> On honestly, it would be lovely. Don't chat with Connor. You go to work in seven minutes. Don't distract him from his workout. Charles just climbed into my closet. <laughs> I know you were gay. You a gay little weirdo? Not on this channel. Not in this house. We won't tolerate any gay little weirdos here. Except me. <laughs> oh, Raul, you're done cleaning the cow stuff already? And you came in the front door? <laughs> that, that doesn't seem right to me. Gavin, you don't have to work hard today. You know, uh, you've had you've had a rough week. <laughs> Your wife died on you, um, and bringing her back did not go as planned. So, not only is she still in the world, but she doesn't live here. <laughs> Hopefully, she'll call at some point. I don't know. She's dead and unemployed. So, I mean, what else is she doing? <laughs> Peeing like men? Well, we pee like men here. Um, <laughs> I do have to clean his litter box sometime soon. Um, I've been putting it off a little bit. And then I... Let's call over Milkshake after that. No, he has a little spot in there that he likes. Because I know that he likes to hide 
Eclipse. So when I first like had him in the house, I was like, let me like give him a little spot to like really hide from the dog if he needs to. <laughs> Why did we make so little in royalties that time? That was kind of bumming. Oh, no, Connor, you're not late for work. You're fine. But you're only 50% done with your workout, so work out after you get out of the shower, which is a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> working out, then showering, then going back to working out. Ugh. That's not great. <laughs> Oh, we gotta fertilize three plants as well. Don't I have... Don't I have, like, that fancy fertilizer? I have two fancy fertilizers. Can I not... Don't put that in your inventory. I'm gonna put that in your inventory. Can I not fertilize with the fertilizers? That seems no good. <laughs> um... Oh, wait a minute. No, because then I still fertilized the tulip. I don't know. Oh, not the catnip. I forgot about the catnip. <laughs> Cries. Cries so bad, so hard. Poor Felix. Connor, are you done with your work thing? Not yet. Okay. That's nice, though. We're done with that. Let's gather lact or lactose from milkshake. That's such a funny way to put it. <laughs> he's unhappy and he's dirty, so let's clean milkshake. Let's socialize with milkshake. Let's hug him. Oh, don't clean him twice. Hug him and pet him. And tell joke about not having a cow man. <laughs> and then hug him again, because he will probably hate us after that joke. <laughs> and then you'll probably have to go get some salad, my man. Did you even eat the salad that you, that you got before? Oh, you know, you didn't get any salad because you cleaned out the leftovers. Whoops. <laughs> Maybe you can make a salad. <laughs> Connor, you're done with your workout. You can come pee. And you also go to work in like an hour. Two hours, I guess. I keep forgetting about the dead blue slug. Where are we going to put that? His room is kind of full, but also kind of not. We could we could put something over in the corner here. We're going to have to change something soon, because they're going to have a baby. Eventually. Maybe like a nice little table. No, this is that's not the bedroom. There's the bedroom. Does he already have a dresser? He does kind of already have a dresser. He could ha he could have like a storage dresser. Why can't I put that up against the wall? That's so stupid. Like I know it's because I don't have move objects on, but <laughs> that should be able to intersect with the wall. Hey, the gray man. A new free epic game, I am. Yes, no, I love The Sims now. I'm obsessed with The Sims. <laughs> we only play The Sims here now. <laughs> oh, that's too big. No, we can, we can, never mind that. Um, but how you doing, Gray Man? Long time no see. Maybe we can have another one of these plant tables. That's nice. It is almost 6.30 p.m. Almost. It's like 6.23. Two uni projects to finish. I would be crying. <laughs> you are doing better than me. If you are 
here in chat. <laughs> 1123. Ooh, I hope they're not due tomorrow. Um, you stay too calm. Well, that's a good trait. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> I stress too much. Okay, that chair is going to interact with the wall a little bit. That's fine. Oh, that one's going to block. That's not fine. Hold on a minute. Like that. And like... That. And then we'll have that right here. It's like not in the corner corner, but then we can maybe put like a lamp behind it. Hey, Cozy, how's it going? Not due tomorrow. Okay, good, good. <laughs> the dog of the meme saying it's fine with, yeah, with the coffee and the fire everywhere. <laughs> Redecorating a little bit. I realized I'd never put the dead blue slug out from Connor's inventory that we got from space. And we're going to have to have a baby sometime soon. So like, we're going to have to move some of the gym around, I think. Um, I'm just thinking ahead, you know? <laughs> it's not a full redecorating stream, but I just, I wanted to do a little bit of something. Um, having babies. We're gonna move on to Gen 3 soon. Kelly's gone. We're on Gen 2 fully. Connor's the young adult now. I don't know if Gavin needs all this room, honestly. <laughs> Making baby moves. <laughs> Give Gavin a bed in the garden. <laughs> Honestly. We might. I thought about maybe moving him into the house with um with Raul's mom and Kelly. <laughs> Ghost Kelly. <laughs> Just so all the parents can live in one house. Um <laughs> But I don't know. We get a lot of money from Gavin still, and I know we have a lot in the bank. Trust me, I know. But we still have to do landscaping at some point. My backyard is like nothing. Like, there's nothing going on. <laughs> um, and there's nothing on the back porch. Like, there's a lot of lot to decorate still. Um, so we kind of need Gavin's money. <laughs> Get a rich significant other? I already did. I mean, Gavin had to work for it, but I earn at somewhere between $2,000 and $5,000 a day, just from all the books that he's written in the past. <laughs> And then uh, Raul is our gardener. He only works from 5 to 7 p.m. He's a he's a barista, um, and he does the gardening, which we make solidly somewhere between 3,000 and 4,000 uh, from each day. And he also has a cow now, which we make like 400 from-ish. So he's bringing in the money for the next generation. Um, and Connor's also an astronaut, which is a well-paying job. <laughs> So, but we kind of need Gavin's money. I know. I wish it was that easy in real life. Just grow a tulip in my backyard. I'm rich. <laughs> if fucking only. <laughs> I don't think so. I think some of his royalties are drying up. Because honestly, we used to get near 5000 And the last one that I got paid today was only 2000 and I think it was a shorter list. So I think maybe some of them run out. I don't even know. <laughs> I've never had, I've never played The Sims this long. I could not tell you. Um, okay, so while I'm thinking about it, I am going to turn this into um, less of a gym. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Um, we're going to put the treadmill in the corner over here. Self-help lessons. His books are becoming old-fashioned. They really are. <laughs> TikTok challenge with the books? I don't think I know what you're talking about. I don't spend that much time on TikTok. Oh, that's sad to sell this rug. Maybe maybe we'll put that in the inventory. That's a nice rug. And we're going to keep all the photos of them in the, on the wall. Because this is cute for a baby's room. The baby photo of Felix? I'm cry. Um, that plant can stay also, I guess. 
Um, and maybe we'll make a baby's room right now. A nice kid's room. That's true. I wish. <laughs> I don't think I get the royalties forever, unfortunately. You know, I'm going to wait on the bed because it, it feels like maybe we should... You know what? I'm just going to wait on the kid's room. We're just going to sell the gym for right now. <laughs> we got to see if it's a boy or a girl and decorate accordingly. And also what the trait is um, so we know how to decorate it. If the books are always popular, that's true. That's true. Um, so maybe patio then? We'll just decorate the patio for right now. If I put a grill, they're going to grill all the time. Maybe I should also be on the, the grill floor. <laughs> I don't want a floating grill. Thanks. But that's a nice grill. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oops. Sims family plan. Um, I know we're going to do 10 generations, but we're kind of just planning it out along the way. Um, I Right now, I want Raul to be like kind of a gardener, like farming kind of man. Um, like he really likes the outdoors. He's active. I, I decide based on their traits, you know, the direction that they're going to go. <laughs> Connor was a genius when he was a kid. Then he... Um, what is his other traits? I don't even remember. He's a vegetarian. The genius thing really took lead on that one. He's an astronaut because of that. <laughs> um, I don't know. I sort of have a plan, but it's only right when they're born and as they grow up. <laughs> I know. my my The sim that started this family, Kelly, died yesterday. Um... And it does feel weird playing without her. She's a ghost. I moved her in with Raul's mom. Um, so she's technically still around, but she she's dead. I can't play her. Any I could have her as part of the household, but that feels wrong. Uh, <laughs> so we're moving on. You know, bigger and better things. <laughs> better, uh, questionable, but bigger things. <laughs> we're going to have a bigger house and everything. <laughs> We're honoring her memory whenever we put out pink furniture. We're going to put out blue right now, though, because Connor, Connor kind of digs blue. I know. Rip, Kelly. Honestly. Married the ghosts. I think it would be funny to just have a, a household of all of my dead parents. <laughs> once, once Gavin dies and once Lavina dies, I'm going to move them all in together, and they're going to live together as ghosts. That's the current plan for them. <laughs> Um, what else do we want on this, on this nice little porch of ours? Are there different swatches of this? Oh, there are. There's a lot of different swatches of this. But can you put anything in it, or is it just like a vase? I think it'd be funny to have a house with all my dead parents. Listen, am I wrong? <laughs> I think I'm pretty right there, honestly. I don't know about you, but I think I think dead ghost parents uh, reality TV would be good. <laughs> a nice little bird bath, maybe. I'm just get I'm getting jiggy with it at this point. We're just playing some random stuff. Some graves. <laughs> some Just some quick gravestones. Represent Kelly and Felix. <laughs> um, oh, where's that fountain? We could have a fountain in the yard. I have the money. I don't know where I'd put it. You know what? Never mind. I don't like that. Maybe maybe a three-tiered fountain? I'd have to do, like, outside landscaping, and I'm not in the mood for that, honestly. So I think we're going to go back <laughs> regular regular play mode right now. Hey, Nick, how's it going? How's your evening so far? Ah, uh, but you know, now that we're back into the game, we can put the, blue, the dead blue sea slug that we found in space out not that good but good 
fair enough. Sometimes it really do be like that. But I'm hoping the good is more prevalent for you. Um, achieve soulmate relationship with spouse. Well, that's going to be rough considering Raul thinks that Connor cheated on him. Um, <laughs> with the Grim Reaper, nonetheless. Um, but... This cow is still starving and unhappy. Even though I've been talking to it all day. He does not like Raul. What are you doing? Oh, you're, you're going to go cook because you're starving. Okay, but come back and befriend the cow after that, please. Because the cow does not like you. We're just acquaintances. <laughs> I wonder if the cow would like Connor. Connor, what are you doing? He's chatting on the internet. Why? Why are you chatting on the internet? Come hang out with your husband while he cooks. Well, yeah, I was going to say fiancé, but no, they're married. I remember that terrible wedding yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I remember it. I thought Kelly and Gavin's wedding went bad. I thought they had it rough. I, I really hope that bad weddings, like nightmare weddings, do not become a tr trend in this family, but it kind of does seem like that is going to be the case. <laughs> um, oh, we should get a dog soon, because Connor is a dog lover. That's his third trait. <laughs> Also, um, work on the romance. Why can I not? Oh, because I'm very sad. That's right. Okay, well, that would make sense. Kelly did die yesterday. Maybe flirting is not, you know, not, not right now. <laughs> oh, but now we made Raul uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? Oh, because you're hungry. Never mind. We didn't do that. Connor... No, you don't have to eat. You're good. We're fine. We're good there. It's a rough day for everybody. <laughs> Gavin's probably bawling his eyes out at work right now. Connor's about to go work for the next eight hours. <laughs> he wants to do something romantic, but Raul's so fucking pissed at him <laughs> for flirting with the Grim Reaper. <laughs> oh, the cow's happy now. But the cow does not like Raul. I don't know why. Connor, go to work. He's already going to work. Perfect. Perfect. You know what? You gotta work hard, though, because you want that promotion. That makes sense. Dive into your work. Just forget about your mom dying. <laughs> um. <laughs> Remind of the cow plants oddly forgiving nature, I guess? I don't know. We gotta make that bank. Six thousand dollars real quick, no problem. <laughs> I wonder how to best befriend this cow, because honestly, this cow does not seem to like Raul. <laughs> We are going to milk it real quick, though. And we're going to miss the bucket so much. <laughs> so, so much. <laughs> and I didn't get milk from that. Oh, I got six bottles of milk. Okay. 118 bucks from that. Not the worst. Gavin's home from work? When did that happen? I think he's making a drink. That's fine. Ooh. 
Connor is offered the chance to choose his team's next mission. I think it was um, close, easy mission last time. Maybe it's high stakes mission this time. Let's do it. Performance gain small. Ooh. Describe the new plant and animal species. Write down a new alien language and discover potable water on alien world. That's pretty cool. Good job, Connor. Well, you can go take a shower, but then you're probably going to come hang out with your cow a little more. It's making you very happy. You've totally forgotten Kelly even existed. Meanwhile, Gavin is just straight up doing nothing. Uh, <laughs> come view your own painting to fulfill your aspiration. Then, yeah, sell it. It's not good. Viewing the painting counts as creating the painting? It does say just started, and all I've done is view the painting. Is that... I don't think that's correct. Do a sad painting. Raul went all the way upstairs to do <laughs> to go to the shower. We're going to come pet the cow a bunch. And then hook him. I love Milkshake. <laughs> milkshake is a young adult. Milkshake, Milkshake's an adult. Milkshake aged up. Oh no. Oh no. Milkshake's going to die. Milkshake is going to die on us next. Never mind Gavin dying next. Milkshake is going to die first. <laughs> I hate this. Gavin outlives everybody. <laughs> Why? I hate this so much. Maybe we could have Ghost Milkshake running around the house? Maybe. I can't take this. I'm gonna cry when Milkshake dies. <laughs> You're gonna probably keep petting this cow for a little while, my guy. <laughs> We're gonna really befriend him. We're gonna make sure that he is well loved and hugged, and we're gonna ask him all about his time at Bovine University. Like, we're gonna know everything about this cow. <laughs> Which is really funny because you're lactose intolerant. <laughs> I wonder at what point it's considered befriended. Um, <laughs> tip milkshake. He'll let us do it now. Oh, he did not like the reminding cow punk nature. Noted. Hey. You know what, actually, we can make treats, can't we? At the, um... At the fridge? Hire my mom as a caterer? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, I have to have a fruit or a veggie. That's interesting. You know what? I think... Raul probably wants to expand the garden anyway. Let's order some seeds. Some fruits and some vegetables. Perfect. What did we get? An apple, a mushroom, some spinach, and plantains. None of them sell for very much. We're not going to plant those. But we can come make a treat. Uh, 
Um, yeah, let's make eight, honestly. Gavin, with your stupid books of life. And you have Kelly's grave? No, Connor sh should have Kelly's grave. Oh, I can't give it to Connor. We'll give it to Raul for now. And honestly, all 20 paintings. And the upgrade parts. You can hold on to the books of life, I guess. Um, but um, but um, they're like not good friends at all. They should be friends at least a little bit. I keep thinking like, oh, like they're they're all the Sims are gonna get home from work soon. It's literally just Connor. Connor's the only one not in the house right now. This is it. This is our lives from now on. Did you make the animal treats? You did. Perfect. Okay. You should go back to talking to your cow. Because I like the cow better than Gavin. <laughs> um, Gavin, I think you still have to paint for work, don't you? Yeah, you finished your sad painting. Yeah, cry it out over another painting. Um, let's give him a friendly treat. Mm. Yes. And now you can pet him and hug him. And pet him again. And ask about Bovine University. We'll gain a whole bunch of friendship, probably. And then we will have befriended a cow. I think tomorrow, um, when Raul gets home from work, or maybe when Connor goes to work, um, we'll go back to the park with Raul and try to befriend a rabbit. We'll work on Raul's aspiration for a little bit. Because he's the only one who has not completed one. Oh, and we just became friends with the cow! Send Milkshake in, actually. I'm so I'm so sorry, Raul, before you go to bed. Um, also, maybe don't go to bed right now. Maybe come fix this. You know what? We can replace it. Come do a drink. Make a drink. A coquito. Because you actually need a um, mixology skill for your job, probably. Uh, ooh, excuse me. But then you probably do have to go to bed because you got to get up at so early for that job. So, 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 so early. You're sad for another six hours? Oh my god. Here, come write a... The, fin the rest of your book that you never finished, I guess. Makes sense, you know? <laughs> Seems like the special place to do it. Raul is going to bed. That's perfect. Did you make the drink, at least? You did. Okay. Does this... What will this give me if I drink it? Huh. It's nine hours until it's spoiled, but uh, that's probably not good to drink before work. So... <laughs> We can evolve some plants. <gasps> I forgot about the lemon trees. 
Cornelius! Welcome on in. Thank you so much for subscribing. For five months now. That's crazy. That's half a year. Well, almost. <laughs> That's so insane. Thank you. I appreciate it. How's your evening going? Um. Okay, well, we'll get the lemon trees in the morning. We don't even have any lemon whores in this community. We'll be fine. No one will be statch snatching our lemons. <laughs> Building a roof is very hard in this game, yes. I had to watch a whole video on, like, placement and what to do, and, like, I still don't get it. <laughs> it's, it's rough. It takes me a long time. <laughs> Connor was promoted. That's fantastic. He got a portable galaxy light show. That's pretty cool. And now he only works Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's pretty good. That's really nice, actually. Oh, but he's going to go to work, like, right after Raul gets home. They're not going to have any time together until 5 p.m. That's rough. Uh, what else is the other thing? Connor can't help but wonder if this is the right career for him. It is, Connor. We decided this a long, long time ago for you. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Oh, maybe play some video games before you go to bed. How long are you sad for? Three more hours. Okay. He wants to enthuse about space. From the astronaut career. Oh, well, Kevin's not even a little bit close to finish with this book. Oh, I just noticed the picture of Kelly. <sighs> I miss Kelly. And the photo of of Felix that we have here too. I miss Felix as well. <laughs> I'm I'm only sad for another five more hours as well. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> My mood light will disappear soon, don't. It's fine. They're gonna try for a baby sometime soon, though. Um, I want... No, Gavin's not even gonna meet his grandchildren at this rate. <laughs> um, it's like 11pm, though. Your fun's fine. Yeah, go to bed, maybe. And Gavin, I guess you can go to bed. It's fine. The cow's asleep. And I think we're going to get a dog soon as well. Um, maybe we'll get the dog and the baby at the same time. That'll be cute. Everyone's going to sleep. Things will be all right. What's lit up out there? Oh, there's like a little light. Um, Raul definitely gets up first, and he should get up, like, now. And come get breakfast. He's energized. From it being nicely decorated? No, because he's happy. And he's just feeling energized because he's an active sim. Okay. I got you. I got you. I know what's happening. <laughs> uh, all the toys. Just hanging around. All these cat toys. Felix. The best filthy little raccoon. Oh my god, the litter box as well. There's so much cat stuff around this house. I'm crying. <laughs> we're gonna have to get rid of it all when we get a dog. I mean, not the photos. The photos stay. But, I mean, we're gonna have to get, like, a dog dish. And, like, we don't need a litter box for a dog. <laughs> I love that Raul also cleans up after himself. Kelly and Gavin really were bad at that. <laughs> 
but Raul and Connor are both pretty responsible when it comes down to it. You work at 8 a.m. now, and Gavin, you work at 9. So I guess waking up at like 4 is realistic. Come pee and get food. Gavin can wake up a little later, because he went to bed a little later as well. Raul make some drinks, I guess. I don't know. Practice making drinks. <laughs> don't actually make any. <laughs> Just work on the mixology, but don't no don't waste money. <laughs> Work starts for you in an hour. That's that's fine. Everything's all good with that. Oh no, Connor has to work out before before work. That's probably not going to happen. I don't know. He's not sad about Kelly being dead anymore though. That's nice. I mean, it's morbid, but that's nice. <laughs> spoiled food and cook breakfast for everybody else actually you gotta earn your keep around here my guy <laughs> there's gotta be a reason for you to still be in the house let's make vegetable dumplings that's perfect get a little variety up in this bitch <laughs> raul can Alpha you um Pinopa try for baby not right before work Believe actually um, <laughs> no, there's got to be one more. None of them, huh? He's not afraid of... Hmm. I guess not. Well, go to, go to work, I guess. He was afraid of them breaking up or something. He wanted to discuss the fear again with Connor. I was ready to do that right, right now, but I guess not. <laughs> Connor, come work out, I guess. Run with your chest out, actually. <laughs> Raul's off to work. He'll be back in an hour, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> He'll be back in five minutes. Um... The barista job is really silly. Who can live off that? Connor is working out. That's perfect. He's got a lot of uh, satisfaction. That's what that's called. I didn't even know. Raul does not. I guess that makes sense. We have not paid attention to any of his, like, these things. And we haven't had him as a sim for very long. He'll unionize good fellow baristas? I guess so. He's not, He's only in it so he can have, like, a little bit of a job, you know? That's the only reason he's a barista. <laughs> Otherwise, if I had Gardener, he'd be a Gardener. Um, but I just don't have that as a job because it's in a pack and I don't want to spend another $20. So, he's a barista because it's the shortest amount of time he can be at work. <laughs> and then still come be a farmer, essentially. <laughs> oh, that was good timing. We got to see Connor fall flat on his face. Yeah, enjoy your... Um, why are you going to go eat it upstairs? What are you doing? What is happening, my guy? Why are you stopping your workout? You can't do that just yet. Push the limits. Why are you watching your son work out while you eat? That's questionable at best, my guy. Come clean the counter and then do some painting. Why 
we should never zoom in on Connor while he's working out. I, I, lesson learned. <laughs> He'll always fall flat on his face. He wants to share his ideas. Work for Connor starts an hour. Raul just came home. What did that say? He's earned a vacation day. Oh, that's nice. Raul, why are you sad? Because you have no purpose in life. You have you have plenty of purpose in life. Try for baby with Connor, actually. As far as purposes in life go. <laughs> um, oh, he's too sad to. Never mind. Not right now, I guess. <laughs> that is kind of the only reason that we have Raul around, though. I mean, he's also cute and I like him, but, like, that is the main one. That is the big reason. <laughs> Connor's 75% done with his workout. He goes to work in an hour. His knees are actually pretty well taken care of, which is nice. Okay, you can stop working out now. That's fine. You can come do whatever you want for a half hour. Whoa, He's making the same confident boy. painting again. It <coughs> it's always this one. I hate this painting. But I'm hoping it's a masterpiece, because then he'll get uh, more aspiration things. Hi, Connor. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Maybe go to work now, my guy. Look at him in his fancy suit going off to be a low orbit specialist. Gavin's done creating yes. paintings for the day, which is nice. Good for a kid's room, I guess. I've, I've only ever decorated one kid's room, so I don't have experience with that. <laughs> we do have a lot of paintings now, though. Raul well, found some vitality fertilizer, heck yeah. Oh, that means he's done cleaning the shed. Oh, I guess while you're going to go out front, take care of the lemon trees. Water with tears? I don't know about that. Gavin, you got to work in like 20 minutes. Don't get too comfortable, my guy. Look at Raul and his sad little barista outfit. He's so sad. Because of his passionless career. <laughs> that he's only at for two hours a, a day. <laughs> two hours a day, five days a week. Like, my guy, you really don't have... He's going to go cry it out in bed, too? My guy, you really don't have to. <laughs> in fact, I would prefer you come play with your cow. Gather lactose from Milkshake. Gavin's off to work. Gavin can actually work hard today. Gavin needs a promotion after all this time. He's been at level 8 of this career for forever. <laughs> Roll is the drama. He really is. He's the reason our wedding went so bad, honestly. Because he wouldn't cheer up about a cat that he met two days ago. Which, like... I can't blame him for that. I'm not going to say he's not right for that, but it is very dramatic of him. <laughs> we almost couldn't get married because of it. Um, but it was rightfully just. Um, we're going to milk our cow. We're going to clean it. 
we're gonna um, hug him. Unwind with bovine. <laughs> and then we're probably gonna head to the park and try to um, steal a rabbit. That's the current plan. Um, <laughs> steal a rabbit from the park. Yeah, we got so much less revenue from these books. Interesting. So maybe it is worth just uh, moving Gavin out at this point. <laughs> How old is he? How much longer does he have? Probably like 10 days. That's what I'm going to guess. I forgot he was creative. That makes sense why he is a writer and a painter. Not something I thought about, really, but it makes sense. Okay. Send milkshake in. And then we're going to the park. Don't kick over the trash can. We're going to go spend some time with a rabbit. <laughs> we're going to try to steal a rabbit from the public park. <laughs> Kelly would be so proud. Hanford on Bagley. Isle of Ope Park. We're not going to take our mom. She doesn't need to know what we're, about, what we're up to today. <laughs> hey, mom, you want to come with me to steal a rabbit? I, it's totally legal. It's fine. I it, I have to do it. <laughs> and now, where was this rabbit again? It was somewhere over here. This place weirds me out. It's too big and too explorable, but also not. I can't go anywhere here, over here. <laughs> what do I do over here? What is this? What are they? Why are there ruins? <laughs> and what's in them? Looks like nothing. A choco berry. Oh, maybe, maybe you could come get that. Oh, you can't even, can't even harvest them. All right, let me find this rabbit. <laughs> the rabbit is what we came here for. Wild rabbit home. Perfect. And there's a wild chocolate berry right here. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, gifting. We're gonna give him a flower. We're gonna give him a rose. Oh, he took a slide sample from the chocolate berry. Interesting. Zerky, he liked that. Chat about the freezer bunny. What are these camera angles? Excuse you. Can I... <laughs> can I look at my sim, please? <laughs> I would like to watch him interact with the rabbit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, so he did not like that, actually. Um, so let's ask how it's going. Let's pet the wild rabbit. We can only give one gift per day. Oh, that's an annoying. The 
That's interesting, though. We can give a painting. I feel like flowers make the most sense, though. I don't know. We'll try to befriend this rabbit. Any of the official add-ons? I have bought uh, a couple packs. But I don't know. Tell joke about rabbit hip-hop. Um... Let's name the wild rabbit. Not Hopper. Um, I feel like Oreo suits this one. Look at him. He's black and white. That's Oreo. We're going to tell him the same joke about rabbit hip-hop again. We're going to keep petting him until he is best friends with us. And then can we name the rabbit home? How do I place one rabbit home on your home lot? Interesting. Thumper would have been a better one. Maybe I have to buy my own. It just says place a rabbit home. Or a flock of wild birds. Oh, you have to you have to befriend one in the wild first, though. I'm see. Ask how rabbit holes work. Tell joke with garden variety humor. <laughs> He's a young adult. I love Oreo already. I want Oreo to live with us, too. I want to have a bunny, a dog, and a cow. Whose house is this? Look at how happy this bunny is. Ask about the bramble wood. I love this rabbit. <laughs> it's very silly to have to pet it over and over and over again, but... Oh, apparently he did not like... Oh, maybe we shouldn't just try to pet it over again. Talk about fluff. Ask about the Bramblewood. Tell a joke. Do some talking. Lavina, I'm busy, okay? Kim Goldblum, yeah, have fun. Oh, oh, it's all going wrong. It's all going bad. Ask about the Bramblewood again. Gavin brought home, Gavin's home from work, but he didn't get a promotion again. Watch Oreo. Oh, that doesn't give us. And now he's starving. Can you eat any of the things you have in your inventory? You can you can eat one of these, right? Yeah, eat a dragon fruit. Nice. That solved his hunger for a little bit. Let's let's continue trying to befriend this rabbit. <laughs> Talk about gardening with him. <laughs> this is tough. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I've lost my my angle. I have to come along the path. That's what it is. Don't do push-ups in front of the rabbit. Talk about vegetables. <laughs> um ask about rabbit life. Tell a joke about rabbit holes. <laughs> oh, 
this is tough. This is tougher than befriending a sim. <laughs> Discuss hopping techniques. You know how you do. Ask about the sharp pointy teeth. Tell a joke about leafy greens. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. He's feeling playful. And the bunny seems to like us a little bit. Please, bunny. Bunny, be friends with me. Be friends enough with me that I can go home, please. I don't want to have to come find you again, I'm so sorry. But you are you do live kinda out here. Oh he didn't like that one. Oh he didn't like that one. Uh, we go so far forwards and then we go so far backwards. Oh he liked the joke, I guess. Oh, he didn't like me telling the joke twice, though. <laughs> Oreo, you are a tough customer. I will give you that. Um, will you please be friends with me? I would love it if you were friends with me so I could get my own little bunny. That would be nice. He didn't like that? Oh my god. We're gonna have to go soon. Roll is gonna pee himself and also... Uh, um, he's hungry. <laughs> he made a rabbit smile. Level 3 comedy? From talking to this rabbit? <laughs> Discuss rabbity things. Ask about the Bramblewood. I'm glad it's finally giving me different options here, because that's... I think that's what it was. We were just doing the same thing. Some bunnies not cooperating. <laughs> I hate that, but I love that. Or <laughs> Thank you, Oblia. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to come back tomorrow. We're going home. You're a tough customer, Oreo. But we got a lot of free time. <laughs> Raul does not work very much. <laughs> we got to take care of everybody else for a little bit, though. Silly wabbit. <laughs> I'm just trying to befriend you. I just want rabbits on my lot. I want rabbits and dogs and cows. Maybe a flock of birds if we get there. Maybe. Who knows? Alright, Connor, what are you doing? You're playing chess and you're hungry and tired. Okay, well, maybe you should have taken care of your needs before you started playing chess. Maybe you should have thought about that. <laughs> you're angry because you're losing control? My guy, I haven't controlled you in... The whole day. <laughs> the whole day. I can't. Gavin's too much. He wants to have a drink at the club and listen to winter holiday music here. Come, come listen to your winter holiday music, alright? Oh, I broke the radio. <laughs> He's going to go kick over the trash can. Don't do that. Maybe don't be mean to me. Connor, now that you're feeling alright, repair this. 
Gavin, Gavin, I swear to God. Don't make me lock this door for if for you. In fact, in fact, lock for everyone but Gavin. No, stop. Go back in the house. Do not kick over this trash can. I am fixing the radio for you. <laughs> Jesus, it's like having toddlers. Speaking of which, maybe once Gavin's listening to Winter Hol once he's happy listening to Winter Holiday music, and I know he's not going to fucking kick over my trash can, maybe we can um, try for a child. Turn on Winter Holiday. Now you come here and listen to Winter Holiday. Jesus. <laughs> They're chatting in the kitchen. Now's the perfect time. Oh, maybe not. Grab a serving first. Have some dinner. Take a shower. And then... It'll be time to try for a child, I think. <laughs> we just gotta prevent Raul from going to sleep for the next, like, five minutes. <laughs> Good, Gavin's not, ha like, mad anymore, because he's over there listening to music. Come write your book also, my guy. Raul's having coffee. Perfect. Y'all can chat with each other. Oh, I guess not, because Connor's going to go. <laughs> Connor's going to go take a shower, that's fine. We tried so hard for Raul to befriend that rabbit today, and it just did not happen. Okay, okay. The moment has arrived. Try for baby Ruth Rahul. Don't even stretch. Just try for a baby. It's time. The time is now. And it is time. Don't ch don't chat. Try for baby. Do not chat with Raul. Go have a baby. <laughs> Try for baby. Thank you. <laughs> it's like fighting a dog. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> Fuck in front of this squid and this coral and the porcupine. They're all watching you. It's fine. We're watching too, but that's you don't know that. <laughs> Baby making time. Gen 3. I feel like we're going to go for two kids this generation, honestly. So it's time, you know, they have to get a move on if they want to have two kids. GG. Maybe they'll be twins even. Who knows? Can't scare me with that one. I saw that one. <laughs> Good. And you can go to sleep. And you can go to sleep. That's perfect. Don't. What are you doing? Don't do sit ups. Go to sleep, you weirdo. <laughs> Gavin didn't even write his book. Oh, because he broke his computer. Ugh. Gavin, you suck. Gavin's had gotten to do nothing all day because he's just been that bad. <laughs> I get to pick a favorite to carry on the bloodline. I know. I do. We'll move our, our siblings that we have into um, nice houses. You know, we're not just going to drop them any random place on the, the map, you know? Like we did Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> um speaking of which maybe we can go maybe we can send a text to kelly i think we can do that send text all i know is juniper in boston so apparently not um what if we go through here 
and we send text to Kelly. We cannot. Is Kelly dead dead? Does she no longer live with Raul's mom? I don't... Open sim profile. I don't... She's a foodie, creative, and gloomy. I didn't even know that about her. Um, interesting. I hate this. <laughs> I hate that Kelly's gone. Where is Gavin? What's he doing? Oh, Nothing? Bro. My guy. Chat with Ivy? No. Go to bed. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, actually, maybe don't go to bed. Actually, hold on a minute. You can paint for a little while. That'd be nice for you. You gotta do that for your job. You don't, you're not that tired yet. Come do a classic large painting. I keep forgetting I have fish, too, because they're the only pet that I have that's immortal and you can't do anything with. They're pretty. They're very pretty. <laughs> yeah. Who are you painting now? He's always painting some random lady. <laughs> I think real quick, though, um, while he's painting, I'm going to do the dangerous thing, and I'm going to step away from a sim without pausing it. Uh, I'm going to go refill my drink real quick, so give me two seconds, guys. I'll be right back. Whoa. Ganoy. Yes. Yeah, Vaccine. <laughs> uh -huh. ah. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I forgot that I could still hear him, so it really wasn't all that dangerous. <laughs> And also, oh my god, that's the first time I've stood up since I sat down, um, since I got home, and today was leg day, and I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it today. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, moving was not it. I don't think I'm gonna do too much of that tonight. <laughs> oh, this is a really pretty painting, though. We might keep that one. We don't keep a lot of the large ones. But this is really nice. I don't even know what kind of room I would put that in, but we'll, fi we'll find one. It's going to be weird when Gavin dies to not have, like, a painting person. Because that's how I make a lot of my decorations. <laughs> I guess we have a lot of paintings we're not using, though. I think in Raul's inventory now? He has a plant slide, right. Maybe we should sell a lot of his stuff here real quick. Ah, thank you. That one scared me. <laughs> um... Maybe we'll hold on to um, the roses to give to the rabbit. Actually, Gavin, before you go to bed. Actually, never mind. Go to bed. I'm a dummy. I don't. We're gonna put that in the inventory anyway. Perfect. Raul's going to have to get up for work soon, though, honestly. And he's going to have to shower. Uh-huh. Did that one even go off? Did I not hear a fart? Or did it break? Um. 
Either way, not good. Take a bath. I don't know about that, actually. Take take a shower, maybe? No regular showers? Okay, take a, take a steamy shower. Oh, also maybe take a pregnancy test. We have the throw-up option. He's pregnant. Um, but... <laughs> Still, take it. I want to know. He wants to catch a fish. I forgot that he's like a fisherman. That's like one of his main skills. Because he likes the outside. I guess that makes sense. Maybe we'll have him fish for a little bit when he comes home today. Eating for two. He is pregnant. And he's gonna go share the news with Connor. Look at that. Perfect. Then come have breakfast. Oh. There's no food in there. Connor, you're doing fine. And you um have to work out. So come come do that, I guess. Gavin's asleep and we kind of don't care about his needs. He's good. We can we don't we don't even have to worry about him. He can come paint. A pop art painting. Connor, when you're done working out, you know what? We can replace the computer. I keep thinking I have to have Connor come repair it. We're we're rich. I can repair I can just replace some stuff. <laughs> Did you not make food? Did I not tell you to make food? Oh, you, you're going to work anyway. Never mind. Go eat at work. <laughs> you're a barista. You can you can have a scone or something when you go to work. <laughs> oh, also work hard. Because you can get a promotion today for sure. Connor's only 25% done with his workout. And you haven't even gotten up to go painting yet. Go paint, my guy. This is a really terrible place for a treadmill. Um, but once with the baby coming, honestly, we have to we have to have this room ready for the baby. And Connor does not work today. So maybe we can go on a date with Raul when he gets home. Because that's one that's Connor's aspiration. We tried Raul's aspiration yesterday. So we'll have Raul like do the gardening stuff and take care of the cow. And we'll have Connor um pee and do the rest of his workout. And it'll be great. They'll go on a date. It'll be fantastic. We'll forget that Gavin even exists. <laughs> Why are you feeling flirty at work, Raul? Because he took a steamy shower. Oh, that was my fault. And because he's eating for two? It's boosting the flirty? I don't know about that. Connor, why are you always making coffee? You know what? You'll become energized and then you'll go finish your workout. That makes sense. That's fine. That's whatever. Oh, the cat dish. Not the cat dish. Gavin does work today, though. Interesting. Oh, and that's kind of a cute painting. That's cute for a kid's room. Gavin, or Connor, come push the work at limit. This is going straight into Connor's inventory. And then Gavin, you're- oh, you're too tense to do a painting. Raul got promoted. And he still only works five to seven. Interesting. <laughs> but
now he actually makes 62 bucks an hour. That's pretty good. I do like that. Raul, can you stop feeling flirty? Oh, actually, you can feel flirty on the date, I guess. Um, just like only on the date, maybe. I can't tell if we have to water these or not. Um, I don't think we have to right now. I think they're all good. No, those are all dried plants. Water all, yeah. And then we gotta, we gotta take care of our cow probably too. All right, Raul's got a full schedule. Connor, just working out. <laughs> Gavin is getting coffee. That's fine. He wants to chat with Boston, my my friend from when I was a child, who I I guess was at my wedding, but other than that, we haven't talked to in a long time. <laughs> I don't know about that, my guy. Maybe, actually, instead of bothering your son, come listen to the winter holiday music. I'm really just, like, taking the old man in the house and being like, Hey, look, your favorite song's on radio. Go listen to it for a while. <laughs> I don't want him to do anything else. <laughs> we might have to kick him out soon, honestly. Oh, Raul, maybe don't do all of this then first. Um, maybe first take care of your needs as well. Because, yeah, I forgot that you... Um, it kind of just sucks to be pregnant in this game. Your bladder sucks and your hunger sucks. I gotta keep an eye on the time though, because Gavin's gonna be late for work if I if I if I'm bad. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking, God, honestly, though, that um, tonight is just calm. There's no deaths going on. There's no terrible, terrible weddings. They are gonna go on a date in a little bit, so maybe that'll be bad. But I don't know. <laughs> His workout's complete. That's good. Come get some food. You can have a microwaved quick meal. You can have some chicken nuggets. Actually, no, you're a vegetarian. Don't have chicken nuggets. Um, <laughs> get leftovers. Let's talk over relation fears. Chat with Jeffrey and listen to romance music. Okay. Chat with Lavina. I want to chat with Raul's mom. That's cute. Do something romantic and complete the day at work. That's whatever. Come sit with each other. Gavin, go to work. And probably work hard again. <laughs> every day we send Gavin to work and every day we make him work hard. You know what? We can let the cow pen be dirty. We can we can leave the cow for the day. Well, actually, we'll milk the cow, I guess. And then give the cow a treat. But we can't we can't spend all day doing doing farm stuff. Why did you what is this? Pancakes? Why did you start pancakes? I didn't tell you to do that. <laughs> I told you to get leftovers from the fridge. Is there nothing in the fridge? That's why. That's probably why. Okay, noted, noted. Do we have any pictures of Gavin hung up? 
Yeah, they, we have some pictures from Kelly and Gavin when they were young and happy. <laughs> and this picture of Felix playing with the ball? <laughs> I can't. I, I... Felix. I miss him. Young and happy, I know. <laughs> They were for a moment. Gavin Gavin and Kelly were really cute at first, and then Gavin just decided to be the worst all of the time. <laughs> he decided to be just disagreeable, frankly. <laughs> Can you finish your pancakes already? You are the one hold up on the fact that you guys have not gone on a date right now. Alright, try to befriend the cow a little bit. Complain about being in a bad mood. The cow's fine, though. We're actually, like, we're... We're doing alright. We can tip Milkshake as well. You made pancakes for just yourself? Connor, what's gotten into you? You're so selfish. He wants to chat with Raul. Perfect. We'll ask him to go on a date. What does Raul want to do? Compliment appearance? Aww. They were already on their way to come be happy. And we're going to go make them even happier. <laughs> here, come here. Um... Romance, ask on a date. Or not, I guess. <laughs> that, is, that is what I wanted to do. Thank you very much. <laughs> Where do we want to go? I feel like we've always gone to Henford on Bagley, so let's try Bendleton Bay. Maybe there's somewhere nice there. The museum. I feel like museums are kind of cursed for them. Um, they did not have a good wedding at the museum. We go to the dog. <gasps> they could go to the dog park. And then after that, we could get a dog. And it could be like they went to the dog park for a date. And they were like, we're having a kid. Let's get a dog at the same time. Because Connor's a dog lover. It's perfect. It's decided. We're going on a date to a dog park without a dog. <laughs> We're going to be those weirdos. I keep thinking something moves over here, and it's because I'm seeing the light back there reflected in my phone. Raul, you're still in your work clothes? Wait a minute. Outfits. Change outfit. <laughs> Change into your regular outfit, please. <laughs> And Connor, you're still in your workout clothes? What are you guys doing? Hold on a minute. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Please dress normal for your date. <laughs> Come sit together. They're, they start they're being weirdos, you know? Can I see your dog? <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Come sit here. Excuse you. <laughs> this is terrible. It's already not going well. He's already like leaving to talk to somebody else. <laughs> Flirt. Flirt. And flirt. Flirt three times, and then joke three times. This is the easiest date ever. Also, can we become best friends? Is that... Are we not already? I guess not. 
Kiss your date? We can do that. This is nice. We're hanging out at the dog park. There's... No dogs. It's just a park. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys gonna kiss now? We're sitting on the same side of the bench. Oh god. There is a dog here. Sandy. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's have deep conversations. Kiss passionately. That's not there. Why are you guys talking to somebody else now? Rude introduction to a dog? I don't even know. Raul? Oh my god. Your mom has a crush on somebody? Go for it. Go for it. Let's get a sibling. <laughs> Let's get more family. Well, if it isn't Mr. Good Old Boy. <laughs> Why do we want to talk to these people so bad? Come sit over here together. Yeah, excuse you. We're on a date, please. Um... In fact, we have to, um, we'll talk about relationship here as well. We're on the state. That feels like it makes sense. <laughs> and we have to have deep conversations, which is, I think, in the friendly. Yeah. Another day of overcoming it? Oh my god. Raul really is dramatic. Alright. But we're having a really nice date. We do have to leave someone soon, though. Um, we have to make out passionately. And I don't know if that's, like, an option. Passionate kiss, perfect. And then we'll have a perfect date. We can call it a day. And then we'll get a dog when we get home. <laughs> we saw one dog, that was enough. Two dogs. Wallace. Look at Wallace, he's pink. Why is Wallace pink? I love him. Just never mind the date, let's adopt Wallace. Can I wait? Can I? He's a couch potato dog? Let's in let's introduce ourselves to, to Wallace real quick. Can I steal a dog from the dog park? Come on, Raul. Chop, chop. I know you gotta pee. <laughs> chop, chop. Let's see if we can steal Wallace. <laughs> Became acquaintances. Okay, okay. Scare, praise, pick up, offer friendship. We can't, we can't adopt him? Pet care. Okay, let's go home then. That's so disappointing. Oh, we can't travel because the social event's active. Yeah, we can end the date. <laughs> he is really cute. I hope we get a cute dog. I hope we get a, a, a kid dog at least as cute as Felix was a cat. Let's bring- can we bring Wallace with us? Let's do it. Let's- we're stealing a dog from the dog park. <laughs> can we just have Felix be our dog now? <laughs> Not Felix, um, Wallace. <laughs> we're booking it. We're taking Wallace and running. Okay, so Wallace came home with us. Okay, wait a minute. We gotta take care of some needs first, though. Raul, go pee. Go piss, girl. Connor. You gotta go shower. Gavin, 
is going to um, introduce himself to the dog. Connor, or Gavin's going to make himself useful and befriend this dog and try to get him in the house. Um, <laughs> aggressive couch potato and jumpy. I feel like that's fine. We could we could offer friendship. We can relax and unwind. You know what? I don't think this is working out so well. He does not like us. He doesn't like Raul. <laughs> um, play with him? Dag, dag. Don't. Oh, oh no. I think we have to shoe him. I don't know. I feel bad now. Let's let's shoe him. Get out of here, Wallace. Go go on, get. Get home. I know. <laughs> Everything I do in this let's play feels wrong. Gavin, don't go talk to Jer to is that was that Boston? No, that was Clifton. Well, now Wallace is just, just sitting in the street. <laughs> okay. Um, come, come finish writing your book, my guy. I guess <laughs> you're feeling happy. Connor's working out. We did already earn silver on one date. That's perfect. Raul is making dinner, even though there's already stuff in the fridge, my guy. Oh, I guess there's not anything in the fridge. Interesting. Cook home-styled pet meal for Wallace. Why is he still here? <laughs> no, I think we need to... I, I need to bring Wallace back to the park. We need to... I can't just leave him like that in the middle of the street. I feel so bad. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go to Henford on Bagley. No, that's the wrong place as well. Hold on a minute. We're gonna go to Bendleton Bay. We're gonna go back to the park, and we're just gonna leave him there. <laughs> it's gonna feel better. It's gonna feel so much better than being at the house and having him just be outside the whole time. I hate this. This was a bad idea. <laughs> Sorry I stole you, Wallace. Um, here, have a treat. And then um, I'm out of here. Bye, Wallace. <laughs> I don't feel so bad anymore. <laughs> Let's go home. And we're not taking Wallace with us. <laughs> but I do think we are gonna go order a new dog now. We're gonna we're gonna do that right now. I think we did learn an, a valuable lesson about dog napping tonight. <laughs> It does not go right right for you. Do not do it. Um, maybe maybe leave people to own their own dogs. Seems seems good. Seems like solid advice. Here, eat your BLT, Raul. Actually, aren't you a vegetarian? No, you're lactose intolerant. I can never remember who's what in this house. Here. Where is Gavin? He's playing chess? No, finish your book, my guy. Also, why are you tired? It's only 6 p.m. Come finish your book. He's gonna be working on this book for forever. And I guess we probably gotta go take care of the cow, huh? Yeah.
dirty, unhappy. What can you do about a dirty, unhappy cow? Tell an utterly funny joke? Come on. <laughs> it's too easy. I'm gonna chat with Gavin. No, Connor, you gotta be doing something more useful right now. Um... You know what, Connor? You can go to space! That seems like a good use of the rest of the evening. Your husband tried to steal a dog. I think you need to just, like, leave for a little bit, you know? <laughs> just just get out of the house. And Gavin, you better be writing that goddamn book. He is. Okay. <laughs> He's just writing it on the upstairs computer. Probably clean the shred as well. Oh, not not Connor. Raul needs to clean the shed. Another shit blast is trash. All over the space? Rude. <laughs> All over the infinite void of space? How rude of them. A rusty waffle iron strikes my craft and tears a hole in the fuselage. Connor is sucked out deep into space. Um... Um, uh, <laughs> I think try to grab the ship. Did Connor just die? <laughs> What's happening? Um, <laughs> give me an update. Give me an update. What's happening with Connor? <laughs> Please. <laughs> what is happening? Okay, back on board. Thank God. Which is good. Um, you know what? We can come home. We can just, you know, we don't need to go to space right now. <laughs> this is, every time I've gone into space, it is the most stressful thing on the planet. Maybe that's bad wording. It's the most stressful thing I could have done. <laughs> Oh no, his combustible little body might go up in flames as the ship re-enters the atmosphere? Ah, ah. Connor found a space rock! Great! Great! Je yeah, it's a good thing Raul's the pregnant one, I guess. <laughs> what is happening? Please, Connor. A space rock he'll use as a headstone, I guess so. <laughs> Um, Connor? Connor? <laughs> Hello? He wants to talk over his relationship fears with Connor. You've got a couple more fears coming your way, my guy. Your husband might be on fire soon. I don't... Where's Connor? <laughs> I don't... I'm so scared. Did I kill my sim by sending him to space? <laughs> um, he's not back yet. The suspense is literally killing me. <sighs> okay. Raul, while you're out here, I guess, I guess... It would make sense to harvest the lemon trees. Um, Connor? Are you gonna come home from space at any time soon? <laughs> the thing's not moving either. Did I lose my sim in space? What a cliffhanger. I'm so sorry to leave you like this, Clade. I hope you at least have a lovely rest of the evening. It's got to be better than the suspense we got going on here. <laughs> now, best of luck. Okay, it, that moved. He's on his way home, I think. Maybe Gavin. Gavin. Um, you want to be, like, ready with the fire extinguisher? You want to be, like, you want to go here, maybe? <laughs> 
I know you're tired. I know um, you want to just be ready just in case. Because if we got to put out Connor. Oh my god, he landed safe. Oh my god, never mind. Never mind, you can go to bed. Connor! Connor! I'm never having you leave me again. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> And now he's hungry. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. And no one's even cooked any meals in, like, a whole day. So there's nothing in the fridge. Eat some vegetable dumplings, my guy. You're going to bed, Raul? That's fine. You go to work at, like, 5 a.m. <laughs> you didn't even have to worry about your husband, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> I'll do all that for you. <laughs> oh, my God. That was, that was a lot. That was a rough trip into space. <laughs> Here I was thinking we were having a pretty, pretty normal, like average, pretty honestly, pretty good stream. Like we befriended a little bit of a rabbit. We had a really nice date. Like things were going well. <laughs> Connor. I'm so glad you lived. I don't know what would... I probably would have cried if I killed him. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, can you empty that? When you're done cooking these dumplings. And then you're probably gonna have to pee and go to bed, honestly. I'm still, my heart's going a mile a minute, still. <laughs> I'm so glad Connor's not dead. And I'm going to send him to bed once he's done eating. Oh my god, we still have all of Kelly's books in here. She wrote so many. Oh, and we have a book of life in there for some reason. We'll give that to Gavin. Gavin, how many books of life? There's three books of life? Okay. I thought we used one when we brought Kelly back, but I guess not. Connor, it's time for you to go to bed, my guy. And then, honestly, I think um, it's been fast-forwarding me when I when I come back into it. Um, so I don't think I'm even going to wait until 3 o'clock. I think once he's in bed here, I'm going to pause the game and probably call it a stream. Oh, don't get too ahead of yourself there. <laughs> and uh, next stream, we'll probably have a baby. Let's wait, tomorrow? Tomorrow's uh Friday. I work what? Ten ten to four? Let me find out. Friday the third? Yeah, I work ten to four. So I should I should have enough time for a um Sims stream in the Moenin. Um for now though, that is gonna do it for me. So, if you are still here hanging, lurking, chatting, vibing, even if you just showed up right now, if you're watching the VOD, um, thank you very much. I appreciate you. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely rest of the evening. Um, 
a lovely morning if I don't happen to catch you tomorrow. Have a good day, Sasha. Thanks for hanging. Um, and yeah, we'll we'll start Gen 3 tomorrow a little bit, I guess. <laughs> uh, till then, I hope you all have a lovely evening, lovely morning. And uh, until the next time...